CES 2014 and we're back on the Audi stand and that's because we've heard that there is something very very cool coming uh, in the new TT. Specifically it is a virtual cockpit, an improvement on what Audi has offered in its cars up till now. Now I am an Audi driver so I can tell you that the older cars, and we've got an A3, it, you know it's basic inside. You, you, you've got a car that really hasn't changed a lot for a long time and companies like Tesla are introducing technology in cars that people actually want to have and you know that gigantic great big screen in the new car, the Model S, you know, these are these are things that people want to own and they're inspiring and that's why Audi has obviously gone down this route. So here, you've they've removed all of the other displays from the car. All you have now is this nice, big, bold display where all the instrumentation used to be and it's now completely digital. There's no analogue instrumentation in there at all. You're able to switch, you can customise the display. You can see there you've got your rev counter's now bigger, your speedo's bigger, so this is for when you know where you're going and then obviously that can take a back seat if you want to navigate, if you don't know where you're going. Uh, so that's actually an incredibly impressive idea. It's been clearly well thought through. And some might say it's a little bit overdue, but actually seeing it here, it, it has it, it's proven that it's uh, it's worth getting these things right. Now, one of the other interesting things here, of, of course, is that navigating can be a bit of a difficulty if you're driving. You don't want to be looking at a display or typing something in. So what Audi includes here is a sort of touch panel. It's over down on the right-hand side. There it is and you can just simply draw the letters on it and that means that rather than looking at the display you can sort of write down McDonald's or whatever you want to try and find and it will be easy to do that while you're driving and you won't have to take your eyes off the road and there'll be no distraction really and here you can see it working and that's actually a very logical way of doing it and we kind of can't wait to see this applied in cars of course it's going to take a while but for the time being it's something definitely worth getting excited about and the other thing of course to remember is that cars these days are becoming more connected it is actually becoming quite rare to get an advanced car you know a luxury car that doesn't have 3g built in Audi's also demonstrating this laser light concept now, which uh, is supposed to produce incredibly bright detail when you're driving around, something that obviously is quite handy to have.